How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And we have some triple IPA time in the form of... I'm not even going to attempt to read this or recite this via memory. I'm just going to have to read this one off the can because it's pretty fucking long. It's a collaboration beer between Threes Brewing and Evil Trend Brewing. It is the, there. Are we there yet? Or did we even start? Or did it end a long time ago? And where is there and doesn't yet assume a linear progression of time... And what's so bad about here anyway? So yeah. Champion of the longest beer title in the history of mankind. Not the longest amount of lettering or whatever. The amount of lettering on a can or a bottle that goes to... I don't know if that will go to Stone. It probably has to go to Stone. Either Stone or uh, uh, those guys, those flying monkeys up there when they do like Chocolate Made of Fail Stone. Shit, they write shit all over the box. Anyway, uh, Threes. Evil Twin. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? Three's Brewing. Um, is they in Brooklyn? I believe they're in Brooklyn. Why am I spacing on that? Um, Three's Brewing in Brooklyn, New York. Um, and being uh, a little uh, collaboration with some Gypsy Brewing with Yep from uh, from Evil Twin. Um, collaboration beer seems to be the kind of um, beer du jour as of late. So I'm super excited to give it a roll. It is a triple IPA. Those can get a little bit sideways for me. Uh, but the good, I've had some really good ones as of, as of late. So hopefully this one shows and proves. Um, besides that long title, I'm not going to read again. It says triple hopped, triple IPA. So triple hopped, whatever, whatever that means. Uh, Brewed and packaged by threes. And that'd be that. Really like the label. It's kind of like the threes. It's the evil twin color because they do a lot of worn stuff. And then those kind of three, threes diamonds kind of floating around in there. I really like the label. I'm a sucker for cobalt blue. I like the kind of contrast of orange on there. I'm a geometric pattern guy, so this one is tickling all the spots for me that I really enjoy. So, yeah. Give this a crack. Let's see what she's got. I did not want to drink a couple high octane beers today, but I really wanted to do this one. Why? Because I just felt like it. Did I did a mystery beer right before that, and it was pretty big. I have one other beer coming up, so life, life gets in the way. Um, finger and a half, two, almost two fingers, just off white, infinite creaminess, like it's beveling down, you can't even see it there, infinite creaminess, not, not necessarily you want to take a nap on it, you kind of want to hammock into it kind of thing, and uh, yeah, it has that, you know, um, washed out, slightly kind of blonde, orangey with a hint of whitish kind of turbid, kind of double single triple IPA that is all the rage as of late so yeah Let's see if we can get a nose on her yeah that's beer yeah it's 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 definitely on the juicy side of things now let's explain juicy when I talk about things I say juicy um it's not just a word. Well, it is just a word. Aren't we all just words in the grand scheme of things of the universe? Um, I'm getting very philosophical because of the fucking label. Um, it, it, when I talk about juicy, you get a lot of you can get a lot of like f um, notes, nose wise and flavor wise from hops, and, and and there's a lot of fruit involved with hops, and that's what kind of draws me to new school kind of hops. When I talk about this being juicy, it is very pulpy, kind of pushed kind of wrench juiciness it's it's very the nose you would get it off an actual juice it's not a matter of being, smell, being like i smell fruit it's more of a uh, i'm actually getting kind of like if i was gonna huff on a fruit juice whether you had a kind of fruit juice blend at like a little cafe or you kind of crushed your own kind of fruit together and kind of made your own kind of juice out of it that's what i'm getting and almost like you took that and you let it sit out for a little bit and kind of not that it fermented but it warmed up that's when I talk about juiciness. That's what I fucking mean. But there's a little bit of bitterness there, too. It's not huge. The sweetness definitely outplays the bitterness in the nose. Um, but you are getting, like, this is, a, I would say, equal parts kind of tropical fruit combined with that stone fruit. You can throw out the generic descriptors if you want of papayas and kiwis and shit like that. And fucking, you know, your peaches and your nectarines and tangerines and stuff like that with a little bit of citrus. Um, uh, kind of on the tail end, but it's kind of running the gamut all over the place. But very, I don't want to say warm, because that, you know, makes me say that the beer is actually warm. Um, kind of cohesive, but vibrant. 
welcoming, like a big soft blanket. Let's put a big soft blanket of warm, juicy hops. Let's put it that way. And you know, sweetness is huge. That's your thing with a lot of these new school kind of double IPAs, triple IPAs, things like that. They are just propped up with a gigantic amount of malt to the point where it's you know there is a ton of sweetness, and that gives you that kind of juiciness because you get that play of the hops with the malt. I'm talking way too much. So yeah. Uber juiciness. Um, doesn't smell close to even being a triple IPA. I probably read the ABV on it. I just didn't, rem I'm not remembering. I mean, triple IPA, you're talking probably around 10%. Actually, it doesn't say it. Um, da, 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 da. Wow, this one has a drink by date on it. That's really, oh, or where is this? Maybe they just threw a date on there to just be weird. But I'm assuming they, it says 6-24-2017. This is not June. This is uh, the end of February. Um, and there is no ABV on here. So, assuming close to 10% range. Let's put it that way. I can actually huff on this all day, but I'm not going to. I'm going to dive into it and see what she's got. Cheers. That's pretty all right. Um, that juicy, juicy fruit juiciness rides throughout the whole beer. Uh, it's definitely kind of like a tropical blend kind of juice. A hefty amount of peaches. You do get a nice, slightly weedy bitterness off it. It's not fucking kind bud. It's fucking middies. Do you know what I mean? Nothing too crazy. There is a booziness there. So, like, about three quarters of the way through, you start to get hit with this alcohol. So, you're like, okay, this is definitely a hefty beer. So, it's not, you know, super well hidden, but well hidden enough because the beer is that gentle up front and that rounded for a good part of it. You're like, okay. But at the end, you're like, okay, this one has a little bit of fucking pop to it. Nice mouthfeel. Overall, pretty nice beer. It's actually, it's very Brooklyn, this beer. When I'm drinking it, we're very burrows of New York. Let's put it that way. When I drink this, it tastes like a collab from Threes and Evil Twin. And it's like Threes, Y Club had a baby with fucking copy and paste. Or whatever. To, it's not copy and paste. It's copy and paste. Yeah. And fucking, you know, a single cut beer and a fucking other half beer. It's like all those kind of, all those beers kind of blended together. Almost like a blend. If you were to cuvee a bunch of those beers, that, um, if you cracked a bunch and threw them in a the glass. It's what I'm kind of getting from this is that is a, is a big mishmash of all those ones that have been popping off as of late. So um, that's not a bad thing. Um, is it stinging out? In the grand scheme of things, not really. Just kind of, you know, a lot of what every other beer is putting out there. Um, does it have a unique calling card to it? No. Is it enjoyable? Yes. But this is the big thing for me. With that nose on there, with those, with those, with those, you know, fruit juicy, those uh, tropical medley kind of vibes I'm getting from it. On the nose and in the taste, I want what I'm getting in here. ABV wise to be around six seven percent and it's not gonna be there. And that's kind of where I kind of like okay, it's just a little bit too big for my liking. Um, so yeah, nice beer, fun beer, delicious beer. Enjoy it. Love the fucking can. Love the art. Love the coloration. Just wish this was a fucking five or six percent beer. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it. It's one of the better triple IPA triple ugh, words triple IPAs I've had as of late. Yes. Default wise, I haven't had that many, but it's definitely that tasty. It's not as good as, let's say, a couple of the ones that I've actually had from other half, which is kind of weird because I'm not the big, biggest other half guy. But the um, what's the one? What's the ones I'm looking? There's a couple I'm thinking about. Um, the one is uh, they're a bunch of collabs. The monkish one, I think it was. Fucking space and um, anyway, there's a couple of like more than this, but this one's pretty good. It's just below those so it'd definitely be in the in the running for one of the best ones uh value and availability no idea if uh keith who gave this to me wants to speak to that that would be fantastic um uh, availability same thing and just say if you like what we like that if you like those kind of beers the beer i was trying to think of was blown up the spot 
Um, and there's a couple other ones that I really enjoyed. Um, you know, if you like those new school New England style triple IPAs, if you like double or single IPAs that are, um, you know, and you want to get shitty faster, this is definitely put it in there. Um, to speak on the double or the triple dry hopping thing, dry hopping is whatever. You know what I mean? It's, it's extra hopping. It's not a definitive thing. It's like, you know, if I were, if I were to take every day, I were to toss like a pellet of hops in a fucking, in, in with the beer while it's fucking doing its thing. And I did it for 16 days straight. I could say it's 16 times dry hop. So it's not a matter of, you know, it's triple dry hop, whatever. Um, but if it, it, it doesn't come across like those super dry hop beers that everybody out there wants, like your, you know, your trilliums and stuff like that. So it, it while well, it has that kind of impact of having extra hop additions, it's not super over the top. And just say, again, if you like what we like this. If you like hop forward beers that are skewed a little bit juicy, but will get you fucking turned, then you'll like this one. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, didn't, anywhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, all four of those places. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice triple this, triple that, and triple the other thing IPA right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.